everybody and welcome to a very special episode of the Shadow Zone channel. We are here as part of the collaboration station experiment. If you've already watched the previous episodes of this playlist, well you're already in the know. Well if you don't, just watch the previous episodes of this playlist, it's really worth it. Okay, so... The gist of it is, we are going to build a space station around the moon. And this is my piece. Yes, we are launching another rocket, of course. Well, it is Kerbal Space Program, after all. Okay, now, the rocket is now heading up into orbit, or, well, out of the atmosphere first. We are going to skip ahead through the paces of the usual launch mechanism thingies. There we go, ditching the first booster stage and then continuing on to our orbital trajectory. Yes, there we go, we are going to separate the stage. This is our lunar injection stage. We can now also ditch the fairings and you can now see the payload in all its magnificence. Okay, firing the booster, so we get an encounter with the moon. There it is in the background, look at that, okay. Little bit high, but we can adjust that later on. I'm going to impact the booster on the moon, so we've already switched around. And uh, shoot the booster right onto the surface of the moon. So, once we've left Kerbin, or, well, we haven't left its sphere of influence yet, we are just uh, a little bit higher in orbit, we're adjusting our trajectory towards the moon, and then we're on our way. If you're wondering what... The oh, look at that, it's an eclipse. Nice. That was courtesy of the Scatterer mod. Yeah, I'm using two uh, visual enhancement mods. One is Scatterer, the other is Environmental Visual Enhancements. And I'm also using Engine Light, which is nice. There we go, we are now in an orbit around the moon and we are already set a rendezvous with the station. That was efficient! Okay, one more pass around this little grey rock in space and then the entire system screeched to a halt because the station is now, well, including my spaceship, I think way over a thousand parts and you see this in four times acceleration in post-processing. So yeah, you can imagine what kind of frame rate I got back then. Be that as it may, we are now in approach on that beautiful, magnificent hunk of metal and plastic and kerbals in space. Okay, docking maneuver finished and what the hell? Okay. Well, that wing got krakenized. I have no idea why and I'm very sorry about that. But the mission has to continue, so we have to deploy our payload, which is a refinery module consisting of four big ISRUs. Well, since Brad has already brought back huge amounts of ore from Eve of all places. Yeah, you have to watch that episode. And yeah, since he brought back that much ore, I thought, well, why not build a bigger refinery segment? Because nobody else has done that yet. And below the refineries, we also have, well, my very special emergency escape system. You know, there are a lot of kerbals on this station. Every YouTuber has positioned his kerbal in here. There is Scott Manley's DJ, there is Marcus House's Marcus Kerman, and there are many many others, which you probably already know if you've watched the previous videos. Once again, watch the previous videos. Okay, enough marketing, let's do something fun instead. I thought, since my Kerbal will then uh, wither away on the space station, I thought to, well, let him stretch his legs first a bit and since it's a wonderful occasion to set a flag with a YouTube icon on the moon, why not land on the moon? Okay, there we go, on our landing approach. And we don't have any landing legs, so we have to be careful and... 
Touchdown! Yes! Well, Moon's low gravity is helping us here, of course. And here he is, here is Shadow Kerman. Yeah, the scientist has now decided to plant his flag in view of his home planet, Kerbin. So there we go, planting the flag, writing some stuff, which is basically a thank you note to all the other participants of this series. It was great fun talking to all of you and planning this mission. Okay, well, that didn't go as planned. Hey! Oh well, I have enough solar panels left, so I probably think we won't starve uh, of electricity. So, station is now around the moon once again, and I am heading up there to do my rendezvous for the final adjustment of the assembly, because we're not finished yet. So there we go, we got our rendezvous a bit closer this time than before, which is good. So let's head around the moon one more time, and then we are already in view of the nice big space station. Okay, on our approach, let's switch this around and head towards the docking port. Well, one of the docking ports, of which are many. There we go, this is looking good, we're on a final approach. Once again, my docking alignment indicator mod, well, not my mod, it's from Navy Fish, and it's great! It's helping me out over here. So yeah, the assembly is now finished because we are moving our tug kind of thingy back towards our delivery vehicle. We don't need both on that station, so we're going to ditch them somewhere. But first, let's try not to ruin another pair of solar panels. There we go, okay. The station looks great so far, but now Shadow Kerman has to take his place among the peers. Well, his peers on this station. There we go, okay. Looking outside, this is nice. And now Valentino Kerman decides to take a visual inspection of the station. There is my module with the refinery and escape system. There's a little bar to chill out, which is very nice. There is Scott Manley's DJ booth. Looking good there, Scott. This was the first module, the core module. Spitfire, which looks awesome. The big fuel tank by Marcus House. We got the Eve uh, or delivery, and we've got a space laser by Tape Gaming. I try to stay away from the business end. Okay, now we've got that visual inspection out of the way. Oh yeah, and Mark Thrym uh, made that center habitation ring kind of thing. And also all you other guys uh, who put a lot of effort in this station, it was really awesome. Okay, but back to my part. We are going to get this vehicle away from the station, but before we do that, we have to test something!
Okay, so now that the crew has drowned, no, just kidding, we just reverted to the safe game. Okay, we are going to get this thing back to Kerbin. And, well, while I was in the process of doing that, I just realized, well, this isn't really kind of... Hey, well, that's a nice bug. Either Scatterer or EVE made a little see-through moon there. Okay, uh, where was I? Yes. So this little delivery vehicle is not really designed to land on Kerbin, to be honest. There are no heat shields, there are no parachutes. But I decided this is Kerbal Space Program, so why not try anyways? So that's why we're on approach to the atmosphere, and that's why I'm also spinning this thing around like crazy, so I distribute the heat evenly. And that was my phone I forgot to put in silent mode. Okay, we lost uh, one of the RCS ports, as far as I've seen here. But we survived. Uh, well, that was a relief. And we also got rid of that tug, which is now set to burn and die in the atmosphere. Let's hope that's not the fate for Valentina and the elusive Jed Gun Kerman. Nice knowing you, Jed Gun. Okay. Spinny, 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 spinny. And trying to distribute the heat so we can get through the atmosphere without losing too much of the spaceship. But this looks promising so far. I've sped this up, for, of course, for your viewing pleasure. The problem is I'm kind of not able to get this thing into a retrograde orientation. It always keeps flipping back to prograde kind of thing. Oh, aerodynamics, you're so funny. Okay, we're now in kind of a temperature safe zone, so there's still some heating going on, but I'm not worried anymore. I'm more worried about those rocks I see on the ground. I thought I could land in the ocean, but I think I kind of missed that opportunity. So we don't have that much altitude to correct our course. So yeah, but uh, since I was able to fire the engines, I managed to get this thing in the correct orientation. Yay! So now it's time to descend to the surface. Let's hope we have enough fuel left for that. I did not refuel after landing on the moon, so maybe that was a mistake, but this looks good. This looks good. Oh no, I'm out of fuel. Oh! Okay, that's... no, 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 no! Ah. Oh well. The only thing I really lost was, I think, the fairing, so... I would count this as a success. So yeah, as always, thanks for watching, and thanks to all of the other collaborators for letting me uh, take part in this. It's been fun. So consider watching all the other parts, and... See you next time. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.